Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeff Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, guys and gals, we're going to be installing Simple HUD, which I think is absolutely amazing. It replaces a like player location display, but adds some really cool features. We're gonna go into the INI, we're gonna go into the game and into the game settings. And I'm gonna show you some very important tips and tricks to help you along the way and also prevent you from running into any issues. So please watch the full video. With that being said, let's get started, folks. First thing you wanna do, click the link down below. This is Simple HUD. Big shout out to Vinoxity. This mod is awesome. It does have some requirements. Lemon UI, script took V, script took V.net. Okay, so we will have to install those if you don't have them. All right, so let's click download this file and agree and download. So there's four files in total that we have to install. Okay, and while that one is, oh, there it goes. Let's minimize that. Now, next thing you want to do, click the link down below that says Lemon UI um, by uh, Just a Lemon. Big shout out to you. The 1.9.4. Click the Lemon UI dot zip. There we go. And minimize that one. We want the script took V dot net by Crosire. Uh, the 3.6.0. Again, scroll down and TC script took V dot net dot zip. Click that, and we're gonna minimize that one, Rar. And finally, script took V. Now, big warning, folks. If you are running on any of the older GTAs, 2802, 2699, 2628, 2824, folks, if you install this version of script took V, you will break your game. From what I understand, none of those older GTA versions work anymore after the latest Rockstar launcher update. Pretty much everybody is on the 2845. If you're not, verify your game files, your GTA files, go to the 2845, re-download LSPDFR and, G and uh, Rage, and install this script hook and it'll work. If you are installing this mod and you have older versions, 2699, 2802, 2824, you can try it, but do not install this version. This is only for folks that are running 2845 LSPDFR. Okay, with that being said, chances are you already have script hook involved. If you don't, you're gonna click this download link right there and minimize that. All right, we got everything we need. Let's let's minimize our web browser and let's get the install started. It's a few steps, but fairly, fairly easy. Uh, first thing you wanna do is locate your main directory. For Steam users, you're gonna go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common. Your GTA folders are gonna be right there. Mine is in a different pathway. And here's mine right there. So this is your main directory front page is what I like to call it. Your plugins folder, mods folder, everything's gonna be right here. All right, so make sure you got this buffer zone right here. Okay, you don't want it all tight like that. Open it up a little bit. Get that buffer zone. All right, let's install the easy shit first. It's all easy, but let's install like, uh, let's bring up the Lemon UI, okay? Um, and we want the RPH for uh, LSPDFR. You want the RPH folder. Double click it. Very simple. Grab all three of these files right here. Drag them to this buffer zone in your main directory and drop them right there, okay? Once you do that, this is done. We can exit out of this. Now let's bring up our script hook v.net. Same thing, y'all. If you've already got this installed, you don't need to do this. Um, but you want three files in here. You want the script hook v.net.asi, script hook v.net2.dll, and script hook v.net3.dll. You want to left click those, drag them in here, and drop them in. Okay? I'm not going to do that because I already have them. If it asks you, if you want to replace them, it's up to you if you want to replace it if you're on the newest version or not. If you're on an older version and your LSPDFR works, don't do this. I'm telling you, don't do it. Okay? Um, and that's done. Once you got those three in, that's done. Um, if you want to check and see what version GTA you're on, just hover over your GTA EXE. It'll tell you right there, file version 2A45. If yours says 2699 or 2824, 
don't install these script took these uh script took v.net and the script took v I'm telling you okay and lastly script took v again double click this bin folder you only want two files in here the dinput 8.dll and the script took v.dll don't worry about the native trainer left click drag those into this buffer zone and drop those files as well and we can exit out of that now let's bring up our simple hud winrar what you're going to do is you're going to double click this grand theft auto v folder double click it now this is the cool part if you do not have a scripts folder okay if you do not have a scripts folder you should see it right here els like i said mods plugins if you don't see a scripts folder you're simply just going to grab this whole folder right here and drop it in okay just drop it in that will create a scripts folder then if you double click it and open it you will see these files in it now if you already have a scripts folder just double click it and then double click this scripts folder and you're going to want to take these four files the simple hud the newton soft simple hud dll simple hud i and i drag them right here and drop them in boom done all right so let's exit out of that and here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go into my simple hud i and i and i'm going to show you what i did by default this is going to be set up to f10 or f11 my grammar police uh is already set up to f10 so i'm i switched mine to f6 because that's the one that's not being used and it says menu enabled it by default will say false i switched mine to true so that i can go into it in the game and check it out with y'all all right so if you want to change any of that do so if you do don't forget to go to file and go to save and then you can exit out of that now folks we are all no we're not all set there is one more thing going back to our main directory you see your plugins folder scripts folder that you just installed scroll on down this is for folks that have player location display installed we no longer need this in fact this will clash with your simple hud you're simply going to hold your control key and select all three of these files now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag them to my desktop because i'm a file hoarder that's just what i do once i have those there i'm going to come over here I got all three of these highlighted still. I'm gonna right click and delete them. Take them right out. Hit my little refresh button there and just make sure that they're gone, which they are. No player location display folder up here. Good to go. I can now exit out of my file explorer. Now let's, uh, I probably should have left the simple HUD WinRAR. Bring your simple HUD WinRAR back up, okay? Bring that back up, we need it. Now let's open up our open IV. This is a very important step. You need to know how to do this. And go to Windows. And let it fire up and let it open. There it is. Okay. Now folks, hit this README. Okay, and then after the README is up, double click this textures folder in the in the WinRAR. Boom. Simple HUD YTD. There's the file the file we need. All right, so super super simple under installation you've got the pathway right here for simple hud ytd which we're going to be installing we want this pathway right there so we want to click mods update update.rpf not update to update.rpf time 64 textures and script underscore txds.rpf, double click that. Now, once you get to this right here, go to favorites, click add to favorites, and name it Simple HUD, and then click add. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so now that we're here, we can get rid of this readme. Now you wanna take this Simple HUD YTD, drag it right here, and drop it in, okay? Once you do that, we can exit out of here. Uh, we can go down to the, uh, there it is right there. So we know it installed. Now, that's it. It's installed. We're going to go into the game in a second, but I know a lot of people can't back up their game file. They don't have enough room on their drive to back up their GTA folder and make another copy in case they mess something up. So if you go into your game, you don't like it. It makes your game crash or whatever. That's why you save these player location display folders, okay? 
if you don't like it and you want this removed, all you're gonna do is go back into your folder and in the scripts folder, you're gonna get rid of the simple HUD, the Newton Soft, and the two simple HUD files right here, the INI and the DLL. Highlight those four, right click and delete them. Then you can go into your common folder, or I'm sorry, your main directory, and get rid of your uh, Lemon Rage plugin hooks, these right here. Get rid of those, and you can leave your script hook v.nets in there. That's not gonna affect anything, okay? And then you're gonna wanna go to back into your OpenIV, okay? Again, don't do this. This is if you want to remove the mod. You're gonna go back into your OpenIV, and that's why I said to go to your favorites and name it Simple HUD. It'll bring you right back here. Again, it's all alphabetized. You just go down to your S's, and you're gonna find Simple HUD. There it is right there and you would just simply right click it and delete it. Once you delete this and those files in your uh, scripts folder in your main directory, the mod's removed. Then you can, uh, then you can, I'm gonna exit out of this. Then you can drop these back into your main directory and you'll have player location display back. So I hope you understood that. I'm, I'm trying to not go too slow, but also uh, make sure everybody understands what I'm saying. So that's it, let's jump into the game. Let's check out this amazing mod and show you what it does. I'll see y'all in there. All right, y'all. So here we are in the game. And the first thing you're going to notice, right? The first thing you're going to notice is um, you may see that it's overlaying. Now, if you have grammar police or call out interface, chances are you might have your status on the bottom there, the nearest postal. As you can see, the Grove Street nearest postal right there is that's the new simple hut also if you look at my mini map you're going to see a speedometer and uh two speed out you're going to see a speed limit sign and a speedometer obviously the speed limit sign is the speed limit that's on the current street that you're driving on and then the speedometer is your speed Fucking awesome that's like 5m right there that reminds me of 5m i think it's absolutely great now if you're uh, if your grammar police, your call out interface and your simple HUD are overlapping like that, whatever your key I and I is for your simple, uh, for your call out interface, click it. Okay. Now here we are in the call out interface, interface menu. We can move up to go to configure settings, click that. And you're going to, you're going to go to postal and just simply postal code code enabled, go to false. And you see it got rid of that. Okay. Now. We can back out of that and click save. It will automatically save into your INI. You'll never have to change that again unless you want to turn it back on. Okay, now I back out. Now I want to go into my, as you can see, right behind my postal and my street and that is my status. That is your grammar police status. I'm going to go to my grammar police menu, left control and F2. That's going to bring up my grammar police menu. I'm going to go to display menu and I'm going to scroll down to this right here. Text position X, text position Y. I don't want to turn it off. You know, if I click that, I can turn it off and boom, as you can see down at the bottom there, it's gone. You see it turn, turning on and off. I want it on because I like to show my status. Go to this text position. And as you can see, by doing this, you're moving it like left, you know, left and right, obviously. Right? So using my arrow keys, the text position Y is gonna move it up and down. And then the text position X is gonna move it left and right. So I can just scooch it over right there. Or what I think I might do is I might pop it right after the nearest postal code. There we go. So let's slide it over a little bit, maybe to about right there. Go to text position Y and start bringing it down a little bit. And then right there. I think that is absolutely perfect. Again, uh, I think we can go to click back, save configuration. Again, that will save right there in your custom I and I. And that's it, folks. Look at how clean that is. It's a simple fucking HUD. It is a simple HUD. Player location display will never see my game file again as long as this mod stays updated with the current GTAs. Um, so there you have it. Check that out. Um, and of course, if I go on to the two Lincoln three nine, I'll be ten forty one ten eight. I still have my grammar police status down there. There we go. 
We are on patrol, and now we have our we have our uh, direction of travel, uh, street, cross street, time, where we are, nearest postal, and then our grammar police status right next to it. Now, I believe my F6 simple HUD menu. Let's check out the menu real quick. Simple HUD, general, primary color. You can go red, blue. I don't know what this is changing, um, but I, I don't know what that's changing. So uh, customize your speedometer. You can change it to uh, kilometers, color. You can change to red, enable, disable. We want to keep it enabled. Um, your direction uh, you can change all this so you can change the where this sits on your screen if you want this right here to all come up here then you would change it right in there right um, again the road postal time all that can be changed and moved uh, within your uh, with within this menu here um, so that's pretty cool let's back out of that that's pretty cool folks that is going to be it for the simple hud install a um, little bit of a longer tutorial than i wanted it to be but so worth the time so worth the time please if you're new here please consider supporting the channel if you feel i, des I deserved it by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know when new content's added also, consider supporting the channel by giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach just like it did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.